On September 8, 2023, my beloved stepped into heaven. Mylon was a wise man and he made sure we had months of shows filmed in advance in the most beautiful locations in the world, just like you're about to see. Please understand these were the messages he wanted you to hear before he crossed over. That's how important you were to him. As you receive the truth today, be encouraged by Mylon's example. He fought the good fight. He finished his race. And until his final moment on this earth, he kept the faith. He stayed on that road to freedom all the way to heaven. And now he is eternally free. Hi, my name is Mylon Lefevre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and almost died from a drug overdose. Something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. Now, years later, my wife, Christy, and I traveled the globe proclaiming God's goodness. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. Good day in Jesus. Yes, we are. We're down here in uh, Austin. Yeah, we uh, are. Near Austin. We're down toward Austin. We're in Beautiful Travis. Lake Travis. Man, it is yeah. something to see. Uh -huh. It is beautiful up here. You and know what we, I just realized? What? Usually when we're filming, we want you to see the view. So the ocean or the mountains or everything's behind us, but we don't get to see it. Well, today, the way we're set up, we get to look at the lake. Yeah, we get to see it. <laughs> but you're going to get to see it, too, because we're putting the B-roll in there. <laughs> This show is for you. How can we pray for you? Mm -hmm. That's all we want to know. What can we do Amen. to give to you, not to yeah. take from you? We're not here to get anything from you. We're here to give you to something. To give. If I could give you a billion dollars, it's not as valuable as God's Word. Oh, that's good, honey. Man, I'm telling you, it would change your right. life like Amen. it did mine Amen. if you just give God a chance. Thank you. We want to thank you, Team Island, because of your generosity. The bottom line for our ministry and our call is this phrase. We're, our call is to tell the world how good God is yeah. and how much He loves them. That's right? the truth. That's our call. If they find that down and they really believe it, it they changes will pursue. everything. Mm -hmm. They will keep, they will continue in yeah. the Word. Amen. And they will know the truth. And yes. they will set them free. That's they will right. be free and free, free indeed. indeed. Amen. You know, that's John 8, 31, 32. That is the reason we do our show. It is. He said, if you continue, Jesus said that. If you continue in my word, mm -hmm. I'll say what my father says. And because of that, you'll know the truth. And the, the truth, truth will make, will you, make free. you free. Oh, Amen. man, good stuff, good Amen. stuff. Amen. Did you know that God has a reward system? Yeah. If you choose mm -hmm. to continue in the word of God, his rewards will be great in your life. Yes. So today we're teaching you on your reward. Your reward. Hallelujah. That's He's a good thing. He's the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. That's right. Come on. Well, you might be thinking, isn't it selfish to believe for a reward not according to God? It's how we please Him. Hebrews eleven six. It was His idea. It was His I idea. Was... That's right. Being rewarded was God's idea. Hebrews eleven six says, but without faith it is impossible to please Him. Mm -hmm. For he who comes to God must believe, number one, that He is. And number two, we must believe in order to please Him, we must believe that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. That means we believe He's a good God, that yeah. He's a good heavenly Father. Come on. So His reward system, the reward system was God's idea. And believing that there is a reward pleases Him. 
Isn't that good news? It's amazing. I mean, that's wonderful. It's amazing. You know, you have a room full of awards, right? Grammy Awards, Hall of Fame Awards, Georgia Music Hall of Fame, Gospel Music Hall of Fame. I remember going to those ceremonies with him. Lots of awards for songs and BMI, and I can't even remember all of them in his study. But those are awards. Those are man's awards. 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 These are rewards. That's right. These are when God, God's, he, he's yeah. gone away to prepare place for us. <laughs> uh -huh. And he says that in that place that he's gone away to, he, he says, in my father's house are many mansions. If you want to, if, if you don't believe in prosperity, that's okay with me. You can do anything you want to. Mm. But if you want to live in a trailer, don't go to heaven because I don't have any. <laughs> in my father's house are many mansions. mansions. If you could sit down and, and draw up anything, it would be as cool as what God's got. Yeah, right. that's right. That's right. Nothing compares to God's reward. The awards of man will never compare to God's reward. I remember when Amen. I got my first Grammy, they sent it to me in the mail. <laughs> they didn't, uh, uh -huh. they weren't very proud of their gospel department. <laughs> right. And, and because I was a And didn't you say it Christian. was in two pieces and you had to put it yeah, together? Yeah, I had to glue it together. I mean, <laughs> oh, just no. like, are you kidding mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. This is like you get the Super Bowl ring and you're the MVP and all of a sudden you get it in the mail and it has to be glued together and yeah. put on your yeah. finger. Yeah. I mean, it was just uh, an award. Mm -hmm. The awards of man. The awards of it man. It was comical. Mm -hmm. I don't need that or want that, mm -hmm. I, what, but I do want the reward. The reward, God. yeah. yeah. Ooh, what and we're thankful, you know, the, the honor that they gave you, there were several times well, that was, yeah. you used it as a platform to testify. Yeah. I remember at the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, Mylon got up and, and was able to share Jesus with that ballroom full of people on live TV. And he used that opportunity not to lift him up, but to lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah. And because of that, um, there were many who gave their life to Lord. And one in particular, a very, very famous member of a band who you would know, came to him and rededicated his life to Jesus after that night. Yeah. And that's why we attended that Georgia and Music Hall of Fame. And within three months, he was in heaven. And within three months, he was in heaven. And he yeah. wouldn't have gone. Yeah. He would have gone so somewhere So that night else. was- in, They call it yeah. rock and roll heaven, but there's no such thing. Yeah. You go into heaven or hell, there isn't any other place yeah. to go. And you know, what's important is when the awards of man come, we're not against that. No. But when they do come, it's just important that you shift the glory, not on yourself, but the glory all goes to God. Exactly. Amen. Hebrews 10, 35 and 36 in the New King James says, Therefore do not cast away your confidence, which has great, great reward. reward. What mm -hmm. is that reward? We want to we want to go deeper in that. Yeah. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. Yeah. Thank Colossians you. Colossians three, and twenty three and twenty four says, and whatever you do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, mm -hmm. and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of inheritance. Mm -hmm. For you serve the Lord Christ. Amen. Colossians 3, 23. God is always watching us. Are we laboring in everything as unto the Lord? Even in the mundane responsibilities of life, so this, we need to do those yeah, things we do. as unto the Lord. Because what this is saying here is whatever you do, do it as unto the Lord, That's right. not to men. And God is the one who will reward you for that, right? So God is always watching, no matter yes, how you're... Is if you're laboring just in the normal responsibilities of life, even when, you're, even when you're washing dishes, right? Do it as unto the Lord. When I do laundry, do it as unto the Lord, right? Yeah, exactly. And there's reward in that. There is. I mean, God's so good when we do everything as unto the One Lord. One of my jobs is I'm your helpmate. Yes. And I told you if you would cook the food, I was washing this. There's only two of them. So I mean, it's not like I got mm -hmm. 50 dishes. <laughs> and I... I I watch all the time you say, I know you're tired. Why don't you go sit down? I'll know, do this. I try. Do I ever no. say no? I'll, I'll do them always. Yeah, you do. Because I want to be your helpmate. Yes. I am anointed to be your helpmate. Yes, you are. And I love the presence of God. And He comes on me. Yeah. He puts yeah. His super on my natural. For something as silly as 
doing the dishes. It's doing the dishes. Because, and taking out yeah, the trash, you do wife. that too. Yes. Yeah, taking out the trash. <laughs> there is no such thing as a mundane job. No, me. there's not. It is. Not just, when you're doing it for the Lord. And for you, my love. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's good. And another reward um, that I want to talk to you about is in Matthew 6, 1 through 6. We're talking about God's reward system today. It says, take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Mm. So when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your deed may be in secret, so that your Father who sees in secret will himself reward you yeah. openly. Come on. Okay, so this is talking about a prideful motive. You want you you get to get rewarded publicly. Publicly. In other words, God will say, I put my credibility yeah. on this man. Mm -hmm. He will do what I tell him to do. Yeah. He will give where That's I tell him to give. Yeah. He won't question, he won't put it off for months. He will go do what I tell him to do. Yeah. Therefore, I can trust him with an important job. Mm -hmm. And he'll do that openly because he wants the other. He knows everybody else sees that. Yeah. When that door promotion. comes open that only he can open. Yeah, that's promotion. That no man can close. Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. people get that. That is contagious. But that's as long as you're doing the things that you're doing as under the Lord, these charitable deeds. These are these good works yeah, right. that God's predestined that's for right. you to do. If you're doing them to just be noticed, by others, God said, that's your reward. Yeah. You don't get any reward from the Father in heaven. When you do it with the motive of, it says, when you do it, don't let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. We do it in secret, yeah. and our Father rewards us openly. And this is all because a prideful motive, if you're doing it to be seen, nope. let me give you an example. You give to the church because you want your name on the pew, right? Um, I grew up and saw that a lot. You, you give to the building fund because it gets your name on the wall in the church building, yeah. right? That's your motive. It doesn't mean the church can't do that for you and honor you, but your motive is to get your name on the wall or your name on the pew instead of your motive being a blessing to the kingdom and of God. A That's what God's talking about. Yeah. Right. So it's all about him and not about me or you. Right. You know, or you right give right. to gain a position of favor exactly. Exactly. with someone in authority, right? Exactly. So this is all talking about the motive of the heart when you're giving. And even when you're praying, it says here, when you pray, go into your room, shut your door, pray to the Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. It says, don't make a show of prayers. Don't um, in public. It's talking about how the Pharisees would pray in public so that everyone would hear them, their many words, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so again, we're talking about the motive of the heart and we want God's reward, right? Amen. There is reward in ministry. That's right. God does not forget your labor of love for the saints. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 6 and verse 10 tells us that. He sees your ministry for the kingdom I'm not just talking to the five-fold ministers right now. Right. I'm talking to anybody, anybody who will ministered. do the work and the will of God. Yeah. First Corinthians 3, 6 through 8 says, I planted Apollo's word, but God gave the increase. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, and each one will receive his own reward Amen. according to his own labor. That's it. That's a reward that comes in on. Matthew 10 and verse 41 in New King James, he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Right. Boy, now that's just for the kingdom, people. Yeah. That's a good thing. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. Now you can do that. All you got to do is hang out with who you believe is righteous. That's it. Spend more time in there. Come in instead of the people who have bad influence on you and who lead to temptation. I don't even want to be around those people anymore. If they want to have a watered-down version of Christianity, they can have it among themselves. I don't want to participate. I'll teach them. I'll walk with them as much as I can, but I'm not going to listen to them tell dirty jokes and, and just to me to, to be like them. I don't want to be like them. I want to be like Jesus. 
So Amen. you can get the reward, but you got to choose to hang around the people, the prophets, the righteous men. You can do it. You can do it and it'll rub off on you. It's contagious. Right. Holiness is contagious. Well, isn't it good to know that we're going to be rewarded according to our own labor? I love what you brought up in 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 8, for the Lord. Yeah. Whether we plant, whoever you're ministering to right now, and again, this isn't just for the fivefold. If you're out and about and you minister ladies to the person who's doing your hair, God said you're going to receive a reward according to your labor yeah, where yeah, ministry yeah. is concerned. If you're ministering to the people in the checkout lane at the grocery store, you're going to receive a reward. Or maybe you're ministering to the woman who does your nails, right? All of those areas of ministry, God said, if whether you plant or whether you water, God is the one who gives the increase, but He rewards each of us according to our labor for Him. Amen? And thank you, Team Mylon, you've received us yeah. um, as a righteous man. If you receive us, then it says you receive a righteous man's reward or on. a prophet's reward as you, if you receive us in your life as a ministry that you glean from. Amen? Amen. So right now, we know that Christians are being persecuted in our nation now than ever, more than ever before. And there is an evil agenda trying to silence the truth. And this next scripture really encouraged me that another promise for reward concerns persecution. Yeah. And Matthew 5, 11 through 12, it says, blessed are you Please get this because, you know, the church is having to take a strong good, stand brother. right now. Yeah. And Jesus, King Jesus said this. He said, blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. Yeah. Now, there's only two places where God said we receive great reward. Mylon read it earlier when we have confident faith. It says, don't throw away your confidence, which has great reward. And the other area where he said you'd have great reward is when you endure persecution with a good attitude. Wow. God said great reward. You know, and yeah. God's not trying to sell Bibles, as Mylon no, said. No. He's not trying to elaborate and, and hype, right? When yeah. he says great reward, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's some good really stuff, great. right? Amen. Everybody wants to be loved. I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. I need to be loved. Everybody does. Everybody's looking for love. Yeah. And that's what this TV show is all about. Yes. Nobody's going to change their life mm -hmm. unless they really get the revelation that God truly loves them. That's right. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in Him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Amen. So you can help us share the love of Jesus around the world by joining Team Mylan. And you just go to mylan.org and click on Team Mylan today. Know, Job lost everything and maybe you've been through the death of a loved one a bankruptcy maybe you're facing what the doctors say is an incurable disease Job was in the same boat but when he chose faith and love God's reward to him was yeah. double oh my goodness he got a great reward when he stayed in faith and that's just double that, and no, that was double there, that's yeah, you're about double. to go over the big one. Oh my one. goodness, yeah. go ahead, baby. <laughs> I, mean, oh, I can't wait to get So that. he refused to curse God in the midst hmm. of that trial. Even under pressure from his wife, he did not bow. And instead he proclaimed, I know that my, my Redeemer, Redeemer lives. lives. And oh. oh, God like that. 
Uh-huh. And I it like says, it. I like it. I know. <laughs> hey, we need to say that. I know, I know that my Redeemer, that my Redeemer lives. lives. Yes, you need does. to say that with us today. Lord I know God. that my Redeemer yes, lives. God. Amen. And the Lord restored Job's losses yes. when he prayed for his friends. Yes, and the did. Lord gave him twice as much as he had before. And the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. Your best days are in front of you. They're not behind you. That's right. Amen. He said our latter days would, would be, be greater, greater than our former. That's right. I've had some pretty good sized, I know you nice have. days, you know, but boy, the there's nice, more in store. There's more in store. <laughs> Amen. You double Amen. for your trouble. This was so interesting because when I looked up the word, word reward to study this out, every reference to the hundredfold blessing came up under the word reward. Yeah. So we got to tell you about the hundredfold. Come on. Come okay. On. Oh, go ahead. Go for it. Mark 10. Well, Mark 10, 28 says, Then Peter began to say to Jesus, See, we have left all to follow you. And Jesus answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, Yes. There is no one who has left houses or brothers or sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospel's sake who shall not receive a hundredfold now in this, in this time. time. Amen. Houses and children and lands. Look at this list. A hundredfold. Listen to this. Houses yeah. and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands, lands with persecution. Uh oh, we oh. talked about that already. Great reward if you take it in faith. It, it goes with persecution. <laughs> yeah. You got to be able to take the heat. Yeah, you got to take. If the you're heat. gonna get wimp out and it's the first time somebody does it, says something you don't like, and it's not fair, it's not right, and oh God, why are they persecuting me? He said, <laughs> if you'll just be a man of God or a woman of God, and love them and forgive them. That, that's how you get the higher fuller. Amen. He did it so hard. 3, 6 is 18. Uh, 4, 6 is 24. But you started the beginning there, you got six. Yeah, yeah. One time. Then two times is 12. Three times is 18. That's the way the multiplication, that's not the way the hundred will look back. You got six, then you got 12, then you... You fold du- that double, you got 24. You were good you at math. You can get 100 <laughs> fold. Yeah, that's Now, people, man. pay attention, because somebody's going to get this. Why not let it be you? Yeah. You know how much 100 fold is? Good Lord, you couldn't count it off. You, you talk about, he talks about the tithe. You can bring the tithe. He said, I will fill your barn so much that you'll have to give some away because you won't have room to you put it off. That's that's nothing compared to the hundredfold. The thirtyfold, you'd be a there. You'd be a billionaire. I mean, we're talking about serious, serious um, blessing. So we're believing with you for the hundredfold, right? The great reward of the hundredfold, that you experience God's reward in your life, in your family, in your health, in your finances. We're standing with you. So please send us your testimonies. We'd love to hear how God showed up for you and rewarded your faith. We'd love to hear God's reward in your life. We also have a free faith resource available to you at mylan.org. You can check out Absolute Faith or God is Honest. Either one of these are perfect for this teaching um, on God's reward because the bottom line, it's when we choose to trust Him Remember, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Faith is what pleases Him. So we believe with you that God is causing all of your dreams to come true and that you are hearing clearly the leading of the Holy Spirit. Also, our podcast so that you can get the Word for the Week on the go and our Church on the Run daily digital devotional. You got to check those out. It's how this show began. I think it'll really be a blessing to you. Lots of fun, but good Word, not just from us, but from our ministry friends, pastors all over the country sharing on Church on the Run. Now, these are ways this podcast, all the stuff we've been telling you about, these are ways that we put together that we, the only thing we know how to do, to try to help you to understand. He does how much he loves you. And he loves you. He wants to fix things for your family. He wants to fix things in your life. He wants to show you how good he is 
how much he cares about every little detail in real life. Yeah. If you give him the whole thing, mm-hmm. not just the part you failed at, not yeah. just the part you're ashamed of, not just the part where you sin, yeah. the gang short of the glory of God. Everybody, and nobody wants to go to hell. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to heaven, so they say the little prayer. But will you, do you love him enough to want to be Jesus to all of you? Yeah. That's it. That's the whole idea. Appreciate it. God bless you. Stay in the Word because that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to freedom. freedom. each other is a small amount of time. None of this goes on indefinitely. And I was thinking about what you said, Christy, that 25 years. Well, you know, when Mylon was dealing with that heart thing, he could have just as easily gone then. Is that right? Had God not healed him, he would have gone then. He, he had a whole nother uh, life and decades and and, and ministry, this is something to rejoice about. Is that right? This, This is a gift. When God, especially when He heals you and gives you years and even decades you would not have had and decades of ministry for which you will receive reward, this is shouting ground. Is that right? Well, somebody say, praise God. That's all any of us have, is a little more time to do for Him what we're made to do. I was thinking about, I'm so glad that you guys are here from uh, Broken Heart. Uh, Like everybody has said, everybody knows Mylon is cool. (laughs) And it takes courage to lead your generation and not let tradition hold you back. It takes courage. It also takes humility to be teachable and correctable. And boy, you saw that in Mylon. When Mylon said, get up, get up and get after it, well, if every day you get up and you get after it and you hit it, I'm telling you, it won't be long. You'll look up. It'll be time for you to leave here. You will have run your race finished your course, kept the faith, and there will be also for you a crown, hallelujah, of righteousness laid up for those that trust Him.